electric pot, not a traditional one, and it simply decided to rebel, and it didn't want it to work, for some magical reasons. Anyhow, back to Skyrim, going for the Nettle Bane. We are right at South Helgen. Hope you guys are doing well this Wednesday. I even managed to grab some pancakes as I was taking the break. Some apple pancakes. Good and delicious. Scramptably umptious. Yeah, I know it's about right. This is why <laughs> this is why I have installed it. Because it says the purest truth. The actual truest truth. Ah, damn it. Now I'm freezing. It's it's a bright sunlight and it's yet I'm freezing. Okay. Pumpkin pancakes. Nice. I actually never tried anything to, to be mixed with, like, pumpkin, really. Usually when it comes to me and pumpkin, it's just pumpkin seeds and that's it. Um, in my country, pumpkin is not really that big of a thing. At least it's not that big of a thing where I live. Maybe it's in the other bigger cities uh, and not in mine. Okay, we're gonna turn over here. Oh, we're gonna fight against mages. Um, Storm Strike. We're gonna fight against necromancer witches. So, we kinda have to get ourselves prepared. The one bad thing? It's this. They're all masters. I'm high level, so that means they're gonna also be high level. And they're gonna be very difficult to beat. Well, back we were started. Yeah, even Janessa is like, she went down with like two shots with two hits. And the fact that I'm freezing right now does not help me at all, because it not it doesn't only slows me down, it also gives me debuffs to my magic schools. So, I'm pretty much screwed over here until I'm gonna get into like a proper sunlight or anything. Is that a piercing? I got shot in the head, didn't I? You know, it's bright daylight, but according to the game, I'm actually freezing right now, which is... Kind of... Not very PogChamp video game. It's not very PogChamp. No, I don't mainly play Bethesda games. I play a variety of games. I was playing Fallout 4 for two years, and... I'm gonna be honest, that's it's kinda exhausting. Playing the same year the same game for two years. Nope. Oh my god, okay. Um There's one more somewhere. So 
they are renamed to Algorer. Interesting. Kinnereth. Stamina by 5 points now. That's 10. And only steel arrow. Can I dig this? It's an iron. I should I should be able to dig it out. But yeah, I play variety. But because it's a Bethesda game. It's a large game, so I can play it throughout the week, while during the weekends I can play anything else. Oh my god. Augers. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that one to you. I think it's good enough that I'm already taking the um, droggers for myself. Rugged Cloak, okay. Full Shaman. Equipment, which I'm not gonna need. Hey, Zeus. Yeah, it's going slowly, you know. Music overlaps. Playing Bethesda games. Bugging around, making my way downtown. Hope you're doing well. But like I was trying to say, uh, like for example during the week I'm playing Skyrim, doing weekends and play whatever I want. Depends really on how big the game is. Because if, if, for example, game is like very small, like 12 hours of gameplay, then I can play it during two days during the weekend. But in case of game like this, the Skyrim, Fallout 4, New Vegas, anything that is like super large, I rather I rather keep that for the weekdays. Like for example, Mass Effect, it's such a gigantic game. Then I'm definitely gonna have to do it during the weekdays. Uh, refreshing, regeneration, ugh. Bask, what's Bask? Reduced by 20 or 30 seconds when the effect wears off, the exposure gain is gained again. Okay, how about no? I'm gonna learn it, but I'm not gonna use it. And what might you need? Hmm? Your shelter keeps you from getting any colder, good. Hag Raven, what do you have? Taproot, double cards, Hag Raven Feather, and the Nettle Bane. Well, this time it looks like this. In vanilla game, Nettle Bane was looking like uh, an ebony dagger. I'm glad that it looks differently over here. Another card. Hunting of Binding, which I don't need. Ruby Rube. Okay. Well, now I can get back to White Run. Away from this cold, unwelcome place. Unwelcoming, I should say. I could also visit my own house. To get rid of some of the heavier stuff. Yeah, it sounds like a good deal. I am freezing to death, allegedly. Well, that's only gonna slow me down even further, so if I'm gonna get a random encounter of... I don't know, um... Whoa. Kine, 65 points. Damage taken from animals reduced by 5%. Um... I'm gonna take that and wear it right now. Yeah, let's do that. It's just better. 
If I'm gonna find the Julianus one, um, I'm gonna switch, but this one is just granting me additional 15 pounds. Yeah, I really need to get out of here. Which plate armor? I'm, I can take the, the whole armor and probably scrap it into something more useful. Yeah, and a matter of fact, I'm gonna save again just because of that backpack. Also, technically, I cannot die by freezing to death. Uh, I have disabled that option in my game because I know for a fact that there are several locations that can actually kill you, um, and you will be basically your entire progress will be tremendously halted. I don't want that to happen. Also, you have a redeemed hydration, Zeus. Uh, my tea is way too hot, but I can drink some water instead, so... Yeah. Cheers. <sighs> Moist. Like, I think that after Skyrim, my next big project... Quotation marks... Uh, I'm thinking about playing Mass Effect. I really like Mass Effect. And it also depends if the Legendary Edition will be um, on sale during either Black Friday or during the uh, Christmas sale. I'm, And it's gonna be like at least 50%. I'm gonna take it. Because Mass Effect is uh, ridiculously good. Ridiculously good series. And I used to own the original, like the original three. But the e EA have decided to basically erase my origin account. And that means I have lost Dead Space, all Mass Effects with all DLCs. Uh, some of the Need for Speeds with all DLCs. You know, I have lost a bunch of good games. And I cannot take it and I cannot get it back because the support absolutely refuses to contact me. Like they I have sent several tickets to them and no response. So oh boy. Hey, Carrie. Yeah, Mass Effect is great. It's a great game. It's an amazing game, se game series, if not one of the best game series of all time, especially in, in its in its own genre. Yeah, even my sprint speed is super limited. That is not great. Weather, weather, weather. It would be nice if you got warmer. It's 5 p.m., so I will also get some sleep in my house, it seems. But yeah, Mass Effect, it's such a huge game. It's such a huge game series that doing it Playing it only on the weekends makes no sense. Like, I know I can play some Hill games, Resident Evil games during the weekend because they are not very that long. 
Oh, I want I want to take this down. Hold up. Can I shoot it down? Fancy yes, I can. Whoa. You a wizard or something? Imperial spy. <laughs> okay, dude. Just popped out of nowhere with a freaking axe. Uh, where's the beehive? Okay, I see it now. Still freezing, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I totally forgot that I have an option that if I'm gonna enter the combat, um, I'm not getting slowed down. If I would get slowed down during the combat, uh, that would not be good. In a matter of fact, I think it would be a, that would be dreadful. And I also have noticed from the exposure bar that right now the atmosphere is getting a little bit warmer. So maybe, just maybe I will be able to run properly in like a moment or two. And who the heck are you? Hey, it seems like you are just a hunter because she's just standing over there. If I, if I was like uh, going through here and she would already turn hostile, then obviously I would know that she's an enemy. Yeah, until I'm gonna reach like a shop or any kind of fire source, I will be unfortunately forced to run like this. It's not even... I couldn't even call it running, to be quite fair. I can see some fire source right over there. I'm gonna use it. Um, actually, I could just go to Bellathor's house, uh, house to his shop because his entire shop is basically warm, warmed up. So, yeah. Let me see if I can um, scrap something for resources. Dwarven ebony witch play gun. That's gel, galatite stuff. Well, I'm gonna take it anyway. Even working at the forge basically makes me a little bit warmer. Which means right now I can finally run at the normal speed. And thank God for that. Oh, hi Mark. Thank you. So, the Riverwood Trader is trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. That sort of thing. Okay, so I have nothing from weapons. I'm gonna keep the backpack. Um... Okay, I'm gonna sell those griefs. Um, Karas Venom, that's 15 for 5 seconds. That's a lot. Um... And from here I have Aquamarine. Do I have any? Yeah, I have a few repeatables. Flawless stuff stays. Regular rubies. Yep, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Till next time. Till next time indeed.
But yeah, I really want to play Mass Effect series. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this much, fuck Origin. Uh, and let me tell you why I think so harshly about... Like the helmet? I don't. Why am I wearing it? Why are you here? Like the helmet? I don't. Why am I wearing it? Last time we seen that guy, he was dead on the ground, and all of a sudden he's like, "Yep, I'm back, I'm back in action." To protect the things you care about, Dovahkiin. Oh, that's obvious. You lost. No. But let me tell you why I don't like Origin because I have before my account have vanished. Um, I have done a playthrough of Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 with all DLCs. And my account like disappeared pretty much one month after that. And even before that, to actually play Mass Effect 3 with DLCs, I had to pay like uh, two, three dollars because for some reason, if you don't play Mass Effect 3, the originals, if you don't play the Mass Effect 3 for some extended amount of time, EA just locks you out of those DLCs. You're basically getting locked access out of those things. No joke. And you have to buy like a special edition or anything like that to actually be able to play it again. No joke. I, I know that because I experienced that myself. And it's absolute bullshit. That's all I'm gonna say. It should never be like this. But it is like this. That is super scummy. I hate that. I paid for the game, I own the game, I have played the game 100% not once. They should have no right of taking it away from me, but... Hey, it's EA, right? Why they should ever allow... A player to play his game whenever he fucking wants. You either play our games all the time, or... Get fucked. And that's basically how it feels. And I will always remember that. Because if if they're gonna do me again like that, then I am pretty much um, I don't know. I'm possibly I'm never going to like buy any EA games. I don't care how much I love the series. Simple deal. I'm gonna ignore any game released by EA if the same stuff is gonna happen with the legendary edition of Mass Effect. If it won't happen, then I'm gonna be super happy, but if it will... Well... I'm not gonna look at the EA games anymore, pretty much. That's that's uh, my statement. Uh, 124... So what am I carrying? If 124... It's not the levels thingy. It's not the books. Ah, yeah, because I have the backpack and possibly like an item or two. Right, that would make sense because backpack is five pounds or kilograms or whatever unit you use. Mm-hmm. Yep, we good. Okay, let's go to sleep, and then we're gonna go to White Run. And even before I'm gonna go to sleep, I'm gonna save the game. For 12, it's gonna be 6, 7, 8, 14 hours. And even, even more, like I said, I cannot get those games back because the support doesn't contact me or do anything. <clears throat> so I'm basically screwed. I have lost so many games that I would love to play again. Is 
In a matter of fact, I know for a fact that I will never be able to play them again. And does that piss me off? Oh, <laughs> you bet your sweet butt it does. You can bet your sweet jiffy it does. Check some oh, so my destruction is already at 100. Um, that's cool. What's the raw power? Destruction spells that do not deal fire, frost, or shock are 30% more powerful. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm also glad that Steam doesn't do that. If the scene was doing that, I would basically probably would not even like consider playing video games. Oh wait, Velox Dormant. Um, that's 60. Choose a spell type: Armor, Cloak, Conjure, Daedra, Conjure and Dead, Invisibility, and three magic effects: Fortify, re Regenerate, Water Walking. The chosen magic effects will activate when you are affected by the chosen spell type. Okay, what about Intuitive Magic? Novice spells. There's also Monarch. Mm-hmm. Arcane. Um, I'm gonna save the game. Because I want to pick that perk. I want to see what it does. I mean, I know I have a description. I just want to know. Uh, choose a spell. Armor, Cloak, Conjure, Daedra. What about the armor? Uh, choose the magic effect to bind to your chosen. Spell, schools, attributes, utility. Um, how about utility? Fall damage, care weight, water breathing. Okay. Health, magicka, stamina, regen. Magicka, that's three out of three. What about the attributes? Oh, that's, uh, no, 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 back, combat. Magic is in chance of absorbing. Oh. Uh. So now I have all the bonuses. Looks like it. Yeah, I am gaining additional bonuses if I have the armor spell on me. I can dig that. Let me load the save so I can pretty much uh, maybe choose something else. I'm, go I'm gonna basically think about what I really want to take with this perk, because it seems like this is very freaking good, but I want to be smart about that. Cloak, Conjure Daedra, Conjure Undead, Invisibility. Yeah, I guess one of the armors. Because I have the armors. Choose Magical Effect, Utility. Fall Damage, Care Weight, Water Breathing, Water Walking, Light. Enchant Drain, 5 Speed. Care Weight. What about the spell schools? Oh, conjuration duration, destruction, magnitude, illusion duration, restoration. Um, I'm gonna go for conjuration duration for this one. And what about the combat? There was like the chance of absorbing spells 10%. This would actually go a, a long run with the Atronax stone, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Yep, still got the bonus. We good. Okay, so for how long are my skeletons are now being summoned? 157 seconds, that's quite a lot.
do I have any other alteration thing that I could pick that would be very useful to me? Vanity and magic, no. Philosopher's Stone, not interested. We have the home mythal. There's also Dimension Door. It's the Dimension Door power of the world that creates a magical doorway that teleports you to the location of your home mythal. And merge it teleports if you have below 50%. Do the combat, you briefly turn invulnerable and teleport back to the location where you entered the combat. Uh, that sounds pretty good. But I think for now we are... We are fine. I don't really want to put anything else into the other effects as of now. I'm gonna wait for Conjuration to reach 100 now. In a matter of fact, let's make another save, but this one's gonna be a fresh one. So in case something in case something's gonna go wrong, I will have somewhere to move back. Something to move back. Alright, let's return to that lady that gave us a quest. And then we're gonna go towards... because she's gonna tell us, hey, go to that tree and get the sap. We're gonna have to go over here later. But that also means that this tower might be good, there might be a war zone somewhere along the way, there's definitely a small side quest with droggers. So yeah, there's gonna be a plenty to do, and also, there's a guaranteed combat fight, a uh, combat dragon fight, not combat, well combat well, is gonna be involved. Time, if that is what you wish, let's go. I wish I could summon another summoning spell. Like maybe a death guard because that I can level up, or maybe um, Need something something different like a daedra, because I have a rule: I'm not buying spells. Find the spells. That is my objective. I want to make my mage playthrough more difficult, and it is more difficult that way. Yeah, that's true. Um, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, if I'm gonna buy it, major word, if, uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to, like, connect the Origin account, I'm gonna probably create a new one to be, um, able to play Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and God forbid it's getting that's deleted. Old. You a wizard or something? Here, oh, now. Everyone back away. The white front gun uh, guard is dead. Let me just loot his shit so I can just move along with my life. He even got an alcohol. He's not dead. He's just asleep. If anyone saw anything. Danica. What is it? What has happened to the guild agrees? Bless you, he traveled long here to worship beneath its branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Wish I had time to deal with it, but it's hard enough with all these wounded from the war. Please, don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed Voice to be your acting. work. Okay, I'm gonna talk to the Danica in a second. There's a restoration book over here. And level up. Yep. 48, so it goes 51, so now it's 52. 49, 51, 52, 53, that's Magicka. 
and I st <laughs> and I don't know where to put that point. Um, might need to do something about bound weapons sooner or later. Hey, Eric. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Also, books to read because of the achievement. How do you feel? Light. Still pretty bad. More rest will do you good. Unwanted visuals removed. Eh? God bless you, Hila. I don't remember pressing anything, so hold up. Hold, oh my goodness, read the game. I wonder when it like removed the visuals. That's that stupid dude. That is so dumb. I'm using fast traveling. I'm doing pretty good. You know, playing Skyrim, enjoying it. I'm using fast traveling for this. This is ridiculous. Why the so called unwanted effects have disappeared all of a sudden? I definitely haven't disabled them. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Is it because I have I have read a specific book or something? Damn shame. Yep, damn shame indeed. Let me just take that. All I can think about is my son. All I can think about is my son, my sword. His, her Thor, we're also gonna do this side quest. 100% guaranteed. What is it? Killed, but I what has happened to the Gilder Green? Know, I have traveled long here to worship beneath its branches. Oh. It was taken this book, Unwanted Effects Remover. Yeah, I'm not gonna read it then. But it's hard enough. I'm gonna avoid it like fire. Please. A fix that didn't actually fix my issues, it gave me another one. Don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please, just let me get back to work. Uh, yeah, Magicka. And we're gonna leave it as, as it is. Alright, Danica, it's time to talk to you now. So, have you got a metal bane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? Got a little bane. Enemy. Oh, I. Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course, I'm glad you did. Now, I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Yep. Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. All right, let's go. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Um, can I help you? Oh no, wait. I don't. I don't want to talk to him. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this because. The Elder Gleam for years. I understand. Was I correct in hearing? Oh my God! Is he gonna be a? Is he gonna bother me right now? Okay, good. Because I w just want to get the sap. I don't want to get with this guy. Because if we're gonna ha have this guy, that's gonna turn into a uh, escort mission. Don't want that. I don't want this quest to turn into an escort mission. Yeah, save, save 666. Well, we passed that. We're gonna make much more saves because of the because of how stable this game sometimes tend to be. Yeah, if I have read what I'm read what I'm trying to read, I would not read it. 
Exactly. It's 100% true. True facts. Alright guys, it's time to... Go and get the sap. The sap can be obtained in this area, and if I'm correct, this little mountain over here, or this one, it's gonna be a dragon, uh, dragon wall, which is gonna give me an offensive, probably one of the first offensive, um, dragon shouts, the cold one. I prefer the fire one, the but <laughs> there are nip, there are nips in the air. It's not gonna be good for his crop. Crotch. Crop. It, it never is. Dead. Let's see what you got. Ooh, an entire dwarven set. Don't mind if I do. Now this, I'm gonna need and put it on myself because it's gonna give me better protection against the cold. It's also black, so it kind of fits with my current armor. Kind of. Get wrecked. Heavy leather backpack, that's not very... Frost rune, I'm gonna learn it, but runes are not that very peculiarly useful. They're good traps, and that's it. But there are good traps if you are using, like, a stealth magician. Which, actually, thanks to the ordinator, you can do that. I do wonder if the towers that are in front of me have spawned back with the loot and all the other raiders. It will feel good to get my revenge on that place. After so many archers have like bullied me last time. That calls for um, lightning bolt. Is that all of them? Good. I was not using the uh, curse on them because they have resistance to poison, so there was absolutely no reason to to basically do that.
those spiders are considered as deers. Eh? Hey, Ginger. Ginger the ninja. How are you doing? Glad to see you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, those LOD textures, they're freaking scary. They're looking so bad. And I was thinking to actually, you know, use a different LOD mod. Because this, those, those like long range textures, they're looking so awful. Wait, did these guys have killed a new set of bandits? Um. I don't see any corpses, so it's hard to say. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for this place unless I will be 100% sure that there's no bandits slash raiders slash assholes around. Someone there. Uh, uh oh. I don't know who is attacking now, but uh. Oh boy! That's not a dragon, but it's something equally loud. Uh, I don't know who's fighting who. Uh. Is that a werebear? Shut up, burp. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced that this is a werebear. Banded feral cub. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And what do you have? Thalmer Rock. Elven Hammer of the Banished Undead with Thalmer Robes, which I'm never gonna use. Next. Huh. There's definitely some kind of murder happening over down there. Okay, those are Imperials, we good. Bodyguard. So there's a bodyguard with like some kind of protection. Oh no, it's a dead protection. Uh, I see a mine over there. Either a mine or a cave. I'm gonna explore that. Um, but the question is how to get over there without getting soaked to bits. Nord. Oh, I remember this cave. It's filled with uh, the trolls, so I'm gonna have to use my flames for that. Or something that can decrease their dam their health over time. I mean, Blight Curse, that's one, and flames would be second, because trolls do not like fire whatsoever. Also gold. For all the jewelry. Good job, Janissa. Stormcaller, I'm gonna just take all of this. I'm possibly gonna have to recast my skeletons inside of a cave as well. The dark shade we go. Oh boy! Well, thankfully, those trolls are low level now, so...
Fat boy down. I actually really like Hunter Born because if you use Hunter Born and you dispose of the enemy, it actually releases that tiny bit of load from your uh, from from your game. Okay, I can already hear another troll in the area. Maybe even an entire family. A mature troll. A troll of experience. Skin the pill. You've learned from your experience harvesting, blah, blah, blah. Okay, dispose. Well, there goes my care weight. We're one of the same kind, you... If that is what you wish. Yes, indeed it is. Uh, let me see what I can give to you. Pelts. Gold ores. For now. Yeah, and she cannot carry anything else. Ooh. Uh, it's not really as bad as it seems. Let me take those gold ores. I'm gonna give you more pelts, because pelts I can... I can sacrifice the pelts. With the gold ores, uh, that's not really gonna be an option. Is there like a chest somewhere over here? Because I would love to leave some of the bones that I'm currently carrying with me. I do remember there was like a small chest somewhere in the area. And I kinda need to leave those bones right now, so... Because I know I'm not gonna enter this cave again, I'm just gonna drop those things on the ground. Wow, he actually has a lot of health regeneration. Like, he just resisted my Blight Curse like it's nobody's business. That's interesting. Yep, being overcompeted again. Janessa is gonna carry more stuff for me now. And someone tells me I'm gonna have to retreat back to my home if I want to continue yes. on. Yes. If that is what you wish. Well, we have no other choice, right? <clears throat> Pelts, more pelts, and I guess this is all for now. You would think that with all the bonuses to carry it, I will be able to like do whatever. Nope. Has anyone ever made a mod? Pocket dimensions. Eh, there's probably like a mod or two with that theme. But I have decided not. If even there is such a mod, I would probably not use it because that would be way too cheesy. I don't like che I don't like cheese lording, unless the game actually allows me to do that. I 
Yeah, there goes my care weight again. It's probably because of all the meats. The raw goat legs, yeah, that's that's also pretty heavy. Where's Janessa? Oh, there she is. If that is what you wish. That is what I wish. I wish she could carry more. Not gonna lie, I really wish she could carry more. Let's go. Fortune, card number six. I can call it like full card sets. You cannot make a deck because I'm missing a thing. Yep. How about the shadow? Also missing. Traveler. We're gonna get the complete set eventually. If I'm gonna collect the full sets of those deck cards, I'm gonna get additional abilities from them. And I really like that. There's an actual incentive of going from dungeon to dungeon and collecting those cards. Oh, there goes another bandit. Sucks to be him. Ow. According to the game, we are pretty much good to go. Uh, addition, more raw meat. Great, that's exactly what I wanted. A meat that I possibly will be unable to cook. That will also... Ooh, Dunmer Tonic. That actually looks pretty good. But it only regenerates the Magicka, so... Um, no thank you, I suppose. Chesty boy, and it has stuff. Oh, it has stuff. Nullification. Uh, I have one like this, but I'm gonna take the second one. Because why not? Eminent archery, don't need that. Resistance to fire. Uh, painting for 500. Staff of mage light. 120 seconds and sticks. Mm, no, I just need light sword or light spell. This time, no spells. Well, we're definitely carrying a lot, so I am going to use that opportunity to get back to my home again. Yeah. But we are making slow, slow progress, one after another. Dungeon after dungeon until we're gonna reach the objective. Or cave after cave. Pick your evil, I suppose. Water school and refreshing it also made me wet. Uh, yep, yeah, there goes my skeletons. So I need to resummon them. Alright, let's get out of here before uh, the game is gonna be like, Hey, you're gonna freeze to death now. 
which it 100% will do this. Um, there's some kind of Nordic dungeon over here. It's like so close and I didn't even explore it. This, this, yeah, there's an entrance. Okay, so the moment we're gonna get back from home, this is the first location we're gonna visit. Is it like a moose? I think it's actually Buck. Hmm. Actually, comes to think about it, to decrease my carry weight, I could use this cooking pot. Shrine of Azura? Need something. Yeah. Uh, I think we already had the had pilgrim with the Shrine of Azura thingy. Okay, how much carry do I have right now? Hmm, yeah, still not satisfying numbers. So I'm just gonna push on forward. When and how? Who dares? Um, yeah, that looks like a freaking army. It's good to have companions with me at all times. Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like you've been rich. Lots of riches, but zero bitches. That's what you are. Save over here and push on forward. So now we are gonna level up slightly less faster because our destruction ability is at 100 already. I don't wanna kill that wolf, I really don't. Our destruction ability is at 100, which means um, if I want to like gain more levels again, I will have to reset the destruction. Uh, tree, which I also don't want to do that. Because relearning all the price one destruction spell tree, I don't, I'm not really smiling upon that, to say the least. Uh, we got fire at your neck, 12 o'clock. Um, okay, so this thing have resisted my blight curse, so we're gonna go for lightning. Oh! Um, I want to move, thank you. Oh, she died freaking fast. Cursed rune cast on nearby surface explodes for 40 arcane damage when enemies come near and curses the survivors. It's also for gun and magic. Probably not gonna use it, but having it 
knowing it, it's also good. Kinnereth, uh, that's 50 and black cowl of magic resistance. Isn't that the same one that I currently have? Oh, it's not. Ah, uh, this one actually fits better with my backpack. I'm gonna give the second one to her. Uh, let's trade. If that is what you wish. That is indeed what I wish. Um, not the cores. Knowing life, she will be unable to carry any anything anymore. Yep. Let me take away something from you. Like, maybe... All those troll hides, that would be good. And I'm gonna make you wear this. There we go. You also are not gonna need this, so... And the scarf, I'm gonna leave it behind. Let's go. Yes, by all means, let's. Yeah, I think I'm gonna prefer this cloak over the one that I had before. is very really close by. Back in me house. Now it's time yes, for you. Um, if that is what you wish. Yeah, I want to get everything from you at this point. Lead on then. And I'm gonna leave most of it behind. That's one. Now over here, the amber should actually go for sale. Painting is gonna go for sale. I don't know what I'm doing with those three troll skulls, but I'm gonna leave it behind over here. There's probably some kind of recipe that will allow me to convert bones into something else, or maybe some kind of decoration for the house. Uh, venison or the saber cat? I'm gonna keep the saber cat. Hmm, it seems like I'm still being over encumbered. Well, not really over encumbered, but I have like 70 pounds of weight, and I think I know from where it comes from. Yeah, that's probably what it is the bone meal. Oh yeah, because I have like this, um, this. I'm. I can. I know I can scrap the entire dwarven set. I haven't found any enchanted circle circlets so far. Yeah, I already have one of nullification. Mm hmm. Since so one sixty four. Uh, yeah, the troll bloods should go over here. Frost by troll bloods. Yeah, let me scrap those dwarven, dwarven robes. I think I can do that. 
Ah, yeah, the smelter have spawned just as always. It didn't. Anything else that I can scrap? Oh, yeah, the spring steel bow. How could I forget about that? Um, the cards are basic collectibles. The moment you're gonna collect the entire deck, you're gonna get additional abilities. So it's actually worth picking them up, collecting them. At least in my opinion of this. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Uh, should I go to White Run? I probably should because I doubt there's like another trader in the area. Wish there was a trader in White Run. I really wish there was one. Oh wait, I didn't left behind the uh, one of the robes. I mean, Skyrim is also always a good game to come back to. I can only hope that I'm gonna play this game as long as I can. Because uh, the Black Friday is coming by and, you know, the entire weekend is gonna be pretty much sales, sales, sales. And I wonder which games are gonna go for sale. Oh boy! Yeah, that's skeleton time. Oh, there goes the Necromancers. Both of them, in a matter of fact. Ascendant, by the way. Hmm, yes. That is absolutely believable. That he's Ascendant. He ascended so much, he actually died. I'm also spamming this ability not really to grind it out. Restoration in my game can also restore my stamina points, so... It allows me to sprint for longer. And I do appreciate that one. Let's see what I can get. Another dwarven. There it goes. Spellbinder. So now a lot of sets are using different resources. Okay. Gotta remember vanilla. <laughs> yeah, modded Skyrim has nothing against. You know, nothing to compare. To a modded Skyrim, you can now change Skyrim so much. All the mechanisms in the game can be changed. Everything's for sale. Oh, a bit of this, a bit of that. Okay, let me sell you. Let me sell uh, one of you because I don't need you. Stormcaller as well. 
this. I think I had a painting. Yep, there goes the painting. And I'm still 123, so I have, st I still have something on me. What do I have? 23 pounds. Or kilograms, whatever. It's nothing in food. Could it be that those ingots could be that heavy? Well, okay, 215 times 8. Uh, yeah, that would kind of explain a lot, so... Yeah, yeah. Um... Do come back. I probably will. Do come back. All right. Let's uh, get to that Nordic dungeon that I have missed last time. But because I have so much care weight, I possibly will be able to um, just explore more than just one place, hopefully. Hello there. Slow side, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Hey, Mirth. Hmm, now I'm actually thinking what kind of spell I would like to see. Something that I could use... Because I need one spell, one summoning spell, um, to use on like dragons or like skeletons, for example. And I also need something that can tank for me. Hmm. Hey, Helix. They already have started. Uh, I don't want to check them because if I'm going, I'm possibly if I'm going to check them out, my Steam is going to update, and I don't want anniversary edition. I, I don't want to. I'm going to have to make an EXE copy before I'm going to do anything. But, for example, if Dead Space is going to be on this huge discount, I'm buying that. I guess I'm going to look into the browser on which games are going to be discounted and which not. I think that's a fair and honest idea. Is that Maik? Maik wishes you well. Ah. Maik once walked to High Hrothgar. So many steps, he lost count. Once Maik got in trouble in Riften and fled to Windhelm, it is good that nobody there cared. Maik can travel fast across the land. Some lazy types take carriages. It is all the same to Maik. Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Okay, Maik. Bye. Best Storyteller 2021. All Dead Space- oh my god, the Dead Space is on discount. I only want to buy Dead Space 1 and 2. I don't care about Dead Space 3. But if I'm gonna have to, um... Get all of them, then I probably will. I don't really want to buy Dead Space 1, Dead Space 3. I don't really want to think about that game. I hate Dead Space 3. And I know, as much as a strong word as it is, I, I just cannot stand that game. Individually five dollars? Okay. Well, I guess after the stream, I'm gonna have to make a copy of an EXE file, and hopefully, my Steam it will not update because it seems like we are gonna go for a huge sell. Games like Dead Space, I will be able to play throughout the weekend. So 
so yeah. But I will definitely get those games. Uh, can you see how the Mass Effect Legendary Edition is standing if, if it got the discount? And how big is the discount? Because I really want to get that game and play it. Yeah, because it's a Nordic stuff, I'm gonna use flames. Well, we have found this, but it seems like there's no entrance from the other side. Unless there's some kind of lever that I have missed. But it doesn't look like it. So why the fuck do we have a door over here? Oh, because of the chest over there. Okay. Is there another entrance to this place? Like, it's, it seems like there is. Maybe somewhere around. Yeah, welcome to Forgotten Hole. Just like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> got him. 42%! Oh, fuck off. I'm gonna be bankrupt. I'm gonna be so freaking bankrupt. 42%, that's actually worth it. Yes, so wrong. That is actually so fucking worth it. Then again, hold up. $34? It's, ooh, 120, so maybe not really. Hmm, but Dead Space- I'm definitely gonna get Dead Spaces, 100%. And I really want that Mass Effect games. Ah, decisions, decisions! Wait, is there- is there some kind of a button? But yeah, Mass Effect is still go gonna kind of be expensive for me. 42% is nice. Don't get me wrong, but it's still quite a high price. I also want to get the alien isolation, so this requires a key. So I guess I need to move forward. There's like a s Oh. Well, I fell for that one. I've spun so hard. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I need to be more careful. This one is like all on me. Uh Oh, master lock. Okay, let's waste all the lockpicks, guys. Bruh. All the lockpicks. Bruh. 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 Well, at least we know where the sweet spot is. Bruh. Kind of. Not really. Got him. Twelve dollars. That, that's actually a pretty good price. Alien Installation is actually worth it. It's a very good game. It's a very good horror game. I also wanted to own it. Hey guys, uh, give me money. Okay? Uh, please. Please give me money so I can get more video games. Nah, just pulling. Just just pulling around. But there's so many games on sale. Like, the one thing I'm definitely gonna get is Dead Spaces, because Dead Spaces are cheap. They are basically cheap. And they are very good.
Am I crazy? Yes, I am. I'm insane. Insane to the main brain. I'm insane. Got no brain. But no, I really don't want a bag for money. Like, don't don't get it. It's 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 all a joke. But uh, yeah, I, I simply really want those games. Like, I have a list of games that I really want to obtain this year. And when they're all popping out on a huge discount, and you don't have a lot of money, that hurts. <laughs> that that hurts my soul. Shadows, card eight. Mm, is that all from this place? I kind of doubt that. There must be more. Yeah, there is more. There's another entrance over here. Hello. Oh jeez, I wonder what kind of solution is for this. But yeah, Dead Space games, it's five dollars each, it's not a lot. I'm definitely gonna get those. I don't know what about how about the Mass Effect, but it's like my number two game that I want to obtain. Okay, let's save. Alien Isolation, I actually wanted to get Alien Isolation for the next year's Halloween, so I can play it blindly. Hmm, a door that cannot be opened. Maybe there's some kind of a switch for it. Yeah, because I cannot mark it, it's just this. And it also seems like one of my skeletons have died, so I'm gonna resummon both of them. I need a better fire spell. Not the one that I'm currently having. Also, I need another one... ...for later, like some kind of projectile, because I have the projectile fire spell, but it's way too energy draining. It's like very, very rough to use. Uh, let me guess, those two or those three are gonna open. The one I'm gonna try to approach or do something. Nope, well that's a surprise. What the f- I- Okay, dude. I guess I will not move. I- I guess I will not do that then. It's like all my heals, all my buffs just disappeared in a microsecond. Wait, is this- is this the area with the stupid gas again? Please don't tell me that. The mod creator have decided to put a gas inside of that room. That unavoidable, stupid gas. Please don't tell me he did that. Or was it the aura from the Frost Atronach? I mean, that could be a thing.
Now, where was that lever? Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the Atronac. That's 100% that Atronac, he's stupidly powerful. Hey, Skull. Of course, stupid fucking game. Uh, the, I am pressing six to summon the skeleton. The game is summon is giving me the freaking oak flesh. This is so annoying. The game would give me the freaking old flesh, even though I'm pressing six. Is the guy dead or he... Alright, we're good. Oh yeah, I can also level up. Um, hold up, 49...
I think I have missed a point in health, so I'm gonna correct it. Uh, it's restoration. Well, right now I don't really have anything to choose. I'm waiting for the conjuration to max itself out. Excellent. Wow, this one dragger was like stupidly powerful. Okay, so I pulled the lever and it didn't open anything? We only release those two skeletons? Or was there another door like over here? There probably there has to be a door like over here to move forward. Expert lock. Okay. Let's see, where's the sweet spot? Somewhere over here. Bruh. 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 Indeed. I know I'm in the sweet spot, but the game is like, lol, nope. Ah, nothing inside, only wasted lockpicks. Oh, what else is new? These guys are dead. Uh, what did he have? Dremora. Dremora Halberd. That's actually pretty freaking expensive. I'll take that. What about your friends? Nothing of significant interest. Okay. Let's move forward. Oh, this is... Isn't that the same way we came forward? Yeah. It, now we can actually go down over here. And probably get soaked. Get soaked, nerd. Oh, it's actually not the thing that I want to see. Archer. Uh, don't kill me, please. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine that. Asking enemy for not killing me and he actually doesn't kill me. Now that's a polite. Now that's polite. That's a one polite creature. Alright. Another door. Um, I suspect there are two more droggers. No, it's rats. Well, at least one of them were rats. What about the second guy? Yeah, what a good lad, exactly. Hello? Well, if I'm gonna drop down here, I'm gonna freaking die. Oh, I have an idea. L let them get to me. Elven... Scythe can be sold for quite a bit of money.
Mmm, the puzzle. The struggle, the shock. Oh damn, it would be a shame the solution wasn't in the same fucking room. Those puzzles are so freaking easy, dude. Like, I understand their purpose. According to the lore, they are built only to keep something on the inside and nothing... Basically, not allow anything to get here from the outside. Which, by itself, it's kind of stupid. Ow. Oh, all of my skeletons got, just got freaking yeeted. I'm loading because my game, again, have decided to give me oak flesh instead of skeletons. That is annoying. I don't know if that's a glitch or something like that, but I can't even show. Oak flesh, number five. Armored skeleton, number six. I'm pressing number six and it gives me the oak flesh. Yeah, that uh, one drugger has a ebony bow plus arrows, so he's gonna be a problematic. He's gonna be very problematic. the fire shouts. Oh, there's actually only ancient bow of ice. Hmm. First thing I thought he has an ebony bow. This is why he could one shot me like that. Looks can be deceiving. Um, let me guess. Yep, nice little baby staircase. Let's go. I can still carry a little bit. Hello? Oh, but of course! that has nothing on him. Iron ingots, that's always good. I am blind. I don't see those things. I really don't see those things. It's a feather, and it's a weak potion. Where is, like, the thing that activates it? Is that the stone? Because I don't see the thing that activates. Whatever, man. Mm. 
yes, my favorite. Fire shouts. All the shouts. Ah, uh, I need to run. Light armor proficiency. Don't mind if I do. Another ball of ice, which I'm never gonna use. Ancient, also another ice sword, which is more of an ice sword more than a sword, but never mind that. Uh, I also did not want to pick up his armor. There we go. You can keep the rest. And there's more druggers that know about our existence, so... Or oh, rats, okay. I can deal with the skeevers. You prick. As a matter of fact, I'm going to skin them and get their alchemy ingredients. Ah, finally, a little bit of peace and quiet. And might you can... hmm? Ah, thirsty and hungry? Not a problem. Dress, skin, harvest, dispose. As per usual. Hmm. Okay, so there's supposed to be like a lever. Oh, there it is. Ah. Another puzzle room. Oh, how do we solve this one? If only there was some kind of a guide. Wait, there's supposed to be an owl on one of those, it seems. Um, so snake here. Fish. Uh, there's an eagle. There's a fish on this one, or whale. I always call it a fish. Yep. That's the one. I do basically think that lore explanation for those puzzles is stupid. Um, any traps? Nope. Good. Because I already stepped in way too many. Oh, that's a huge room. Okay. Well then. Bring the boys in. Skellingtons! Hey, Dank.
Juggler Immortal, Immortal, by the way. Okay. He's not really immortal because he's taking fire damage against like nobody's business. And I got hit. Yep. The hitboxes in this game sometimes are ridiculous. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to keep I'm gonna try to keep that fire for later. goes the fire. Well, let's go for the Draugr Immortal. So he claims to be. No, that's a summon. I need to go for the main guy. Uh, one, one of these guys, yes. There we go. Ailed great sword, I can scrap that. Well, I guess I can loot the other guys now. And according to the game, this place is now clean. But of course, since we have a music loop, then first song first song have ended, but the second one is also needs to end, and it's not gonna detect that I have already killed everything in the area. The full track needs to play. The city never stops. If even that makes any sense. Let's see what's in the chest. Mm, more cards. Good. Dragonbone Warhammer. Yes, please. Ebony and Ivory. Uh, that's a fatigue. Eminent health. Smithing? Um, no, this is not really that good. Dwindling magic. Invis- mm. Now, look. Invisibility. Um, not really gonna specifically use it, but... The fact that I have managed to find it, it's very good. Undead up to level 12. I, eh, I can sell it's 1,000. Um, gold. So I'm very happy about it. Well, that's this dungeon. How much I can carry? I can carry quite a lot. To not really. <laughs> not really. Um, let me leave something in this chest because I'm pretty sure I have picked items that I'm never gonna use. Uh, also, it has devastating paralysis. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna need that. Let me see what I can leave behind. Um, here, but here, small animal bones, and I guess this is it. Because it seems like everything else can be either disenchanted or sold. Well, on the plus side, we can get out of here. Uh, there's another like cave and another Nordic dungeon in front of me um, How much of the stuff I can give to Janessa because I really yes, want to visit so another dungeon 
If that is what you wish. Yes, it is what I wish. Let's see. Corundum Ebony. Malachite. Hmm. So I can lift around 100 pounds. No, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna get back home and come back here in a moment. Or in a few moments. Ow. Hey, 69%. Nice. I hope I will have enough time to actually explore another cave. I am actually trying to sprint and get to the other point of reference as fast as I can. Uh, and a matter of fact, I'm gonna save over here because the one safe in the Forgotten Hall should not be a thing. to find like a better fire spell because the next two places are gonna require us to use fire spells and we sadly but technically we don't have like any good fire spells like we have one fire spell that is like short range pretty much a untouch spell if you will oh yeah that wolf is not gonna be happy with that oh they are not happy with us ow ow Good, Janessa. Um, I could harvest their stuff. Well, at least from this guy. Alright, let's go. Also, it was a mutant of a wolf because he had two livers. I know, right? Such colors, much pog. Very rainbow. Please shut me up. I can only hope that the moment I'm gonna act, uh, turn on my Steam, um, the Anniversary Edition is not gonna download. Because I'm definitely buying Dead Spaces. I'm gonna make a list of games. I need to- I actually need to make that list of games for myself. Because the only games that I remember was... Dead Spaces, Mass Effect, Alien Isolation... And Lexi of Cain Soul River 1, but that game is not available to buy since March. And it's probably never gonna be available to buy. I have the PE PlayStation 1 version, I want the PC version. Yes. Because apparently it if runs that's better. Is what you wish. Change the name of Skyrim for, uh, why would I do that? Like, um, no, like really, why, why would that be a good idea? Because I don't know, I, I'm, I'm hearing about that for the first time.
keeps Steam from updating it. I mean, sure, yeah, but how does it work? Is it because change it back when I'm back when I'm done shopping? I might actually do that. I mean, if it's just a single, I hope it's not gonna ruin everything. Oh yeah, wait, I, I can scrap some stuff. I totally forgot. Hey, hello, the smelter that refuses to load in properly for some reasons. So I picked that Dremora stuff, and it cannot be scrapped? Yeah, Dremora Halberd cannot be scrapped, it can be only sold, so that's interesting. I also have this Tombstone Ceremonial Sword that I can only sell or leave behind. Hmm. Monka Hum. Yeah, okay, so I'm selling that gold garnet stays. And if every other piece of jewelry also probably stays. Okay. What about the foods? Oh uh, yeah, the debuff. There goes the debuff. Okay, it's 211. Uh, that would only mean that the only things I have to do is pretty much... Yeah, that could be an immersive weapon, but normally you can scrap all the weapons from the immersive weapons pack. Not this one, though. But it's okay. I'm gonna go to White Run right now, so I will sell them. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm quite quiet right now, but I'm kind of... I don't know. Should I say that I'm stressing out? I'm not really stressing out, but... I'm pretty much afraid of turning my Steam online. <laughs> I'm gonna do all the, like, precaution stuff. I'm gonna copy the exe file, I'm going to... Um, change the name of the folder, because I think changing the name of the folder should not do any damage. A pox on the Empire! Well, another spy! Dead. I'm gonna take that potion, though. Potent on the visibility, uh, buh, 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 nothing else. Urgh. Circle stones to the southwest. Urgh, damn it, I'm dead. <sighs> 
Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let What's me know. this? Might have it stored away. Oh, Jade Dragon. Um, let me read those books because that's for the achievement. What? The <laughs> what the? <laughs> Why is that reaction from you, Balathor? Okay, let me sell you this. Let me sell you this. Let me sell you this. And from armors, let me sell you one, two. Three. Um. This. Suppre no, I actually need that suppression ring. What in the goddamn? Okay, any duplicates of the cards? I see only one. And I keep the flawless garnet. Okay, we're good. How much money do I have? 21,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. Probably not enough to invest in... That's not how the cloak should work. But never mind, how much time do I have left? Not a lot. I will not be able to clean another dungeon. So I guess I'm gonna call it a day... Um, here. I think that would be... A safe solution. Hmm. Alright, let me switch the scene. And let's see who is currently available to raid. And I spy with my little eye. I see Eric. Yeah, Eric was feeling bad for a couple days. I think he was taking like some kind of infusions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raid him today. He wasn't- I don't think he was able to stream for like past two, three days. So I'm gonna raid him today, gonna say hello. Raid the channel, let's see. Eric B. Rowling. Alright guys, uh, thank you guys very much for watching me today. I appreciate every single one of you, thanks for all the support. I will be back tomorrow. Uh, with hopefully continuing the Skyrim depends on how Steam is gonna decide they're gonna decide to screw me up But yeah, hope you guys are gonna have a good rest of the uh, Wednesday links to my YouTube Twitter everything that you guys need it's down below in the description or In the panels depends where you are viewing it once again. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one See you tomorrow Bye